Hey TSC soccer players, it is day nine. You make sure before you even start this video that you've warmed up and you've done 10 minutes of juggling. If you have not done that, please pause the video right now and do your warm up and juggling. Today we are working on learning to cut quickly. We've done this in a few of our training sessions, but I think a lot of times we get a little lazy if we're not moving our feet quick enough or we're knocking cones down, that means we don't have control of the ball. And it also means that we're not able to cut away from someone as fast because we're being a little too slow or a little too careless with our touches. And obviously I have you guys work on juggling because that helps you with your touch and your ability to keep the ball tight and close to you. So that's why it's important for you guys to be doing juggling before you do any training session. For round one of the core part of the sharp touches drills i'm going to have you guys get 12 objects and you're going to spread them about five steps apart from each other so i would recommend you doing this outside if you can if it's nice out if not just find a very big space so you have enough for 10 to 12 things to separate yourself um there's a dump there's a diagram that i have in this video that you can look at to see kind of what it should look like it should just look like a line of 12 objects but they're five steps apart from each other so they should be a decent distance you're going to go through that drill for round one five times on the right foot you're dribbling in and out of the objects then you're going to go through five times on the left foot and then for the final part of round one you're going to do five feet five rounds where you alternate your feet throughout it so you do right footed touches through one set of cones and left footed touches and you keep rotating Please pause the video and do round one. For round two, you're gonna make it more challenging. So you're still gonna keep those 12 objects five steps apart, but then you're gonna go through and add in a new object in between all of those 12 objects. So it should look like there's something splitting each object down the middle to make the cones closer together and it's a little more challenging. So you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna go 12 times on the right foot, dribble in and out, 12 times in the left foot, and then the final five times is both feet dribbling through.
Please pause the video and do round two. For the final round of this part of our soccer training, you're gonna do it a little different for round three. Instead of the objects being in a line, I have a diagram of kind of what it should look like, but I want the objects now spread around the room. There should be more than 12 objects. I would say try to have, like if you have like Beanie Babies, um, toys or something that you can use to spread around a large space, I would say do that. Um, probably between, I would say try to do around 25 to 30 objects. They can be small, but I want them spread out so you have a little bit of space, but they're gonna be helpful with you cutting sharply. So you can look at my diagram. It has a bunch of X's and O's and kind of like a big box shape. That's what it should kind of look like. You're gonna go through each round for two minutes. You're gonna have two minutes on your right foot only where you're dribbling in and out, and then you get one minute break. And then you're gonna go two minutes on your left foot in and out of all of them, and then you get another one minute break. And then finally, you're going in and out of all these cones with both feet for two minutes. Please pause the video and complete round three. So for your partner part of the drill, I want you to use the round three layout so all the objects spread out. You are going to have a partner. It can be a pet. It can be a person, sibling, parent, parent, whatever you name it. But the point of it is that there's gonna be something else in there that's gonna challenge you to do better. So you want to not only avoid the objects, but now you're sharply cutting around a person too, so you got to be able to get your head up, right? Um, so you're going to do one minute on your right foot, 30 second break, then one minute on your, or one minute on your left foot, and then 30 second break. And then you're going to do one minute using both feet, and then you can break. Um, And then you're gonna finally do two minutes on both feet and then you get a break. Please pause the video and complete your partner portion of the training session. Okay, and finally for your challenge, I have asked your parents and you to do two videos and send them to Coach Maddie. The first video should be of you juggling um, a soccer ball. I want you to practice though for five minutes before you have your parents film it because what I've been noticing about anyone who sent them to me before you guys look like you just started juggling and I want you to get a little bit of repetition in before you start filming you juggling, okay? I want it look like you're getting one of your top numbers in regards to juggles and uh, catches. So if you're getting between three and five juggles and it looks like you have good control, then that's the kind of video I want sent to me. After you've gotten the juggles that you feel is good enough for filming then you're gonna pass it to whoever who's filming you under control the second video I want you guys to film is I want you to practice for five minutes before you film it using something that's not a soccer ball it could be a dog toy it could be a tennis ball it could be a, it could be really anything like toilet paper you can do anything some things are obviously not ideal to juggle with but you've seen the toilet paper challenge, you've seen 
people can juggle. Coach Maddie's juggled with a tennis ball before and it's really hard to juggle things that are not a soccer ball because we're not used to it. But this is a challenge and it's fun and I wanna see a cool video of it. So try to juggle that too and have your parents send it to me. The most important thing of day nine is that making sure that during these drills where you're supposed to be cutting sharply is that you're doing it and working as hard as you possibly can. Don't just go through the motions because you're not gonna challenge yourself and you're not gonna get as good. I give you these drills so that you can work as hard as you can, you can have ideas, and you can do them as long as you want. A reminder for day nine, you're doing these two videos and you're sending them back to me, but I wanna see that you've been doing a little bit of practice before you film it so that I can see your juggling improve daily. Reminder, you should be able to get between four and five juggles depending on what team you guys are on. So please try your hardest.